Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, just welcome. My name is Harrison, and I got two cats. In this video, I'm going to be covering the rest of the skins from the 2020 Tower Defense Simulator Halloween event. Luckily for us, a gracious member of our community has stepped up and volunteered as tribute to showcase the Demon Gladiator and Pumpkin Militant skins. The Pumpkin Militant crate is still glitched, so you can't open it, but he had it from the 2019 Halloween event, so at least I can show y'all what it looks like. Go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead hit that subscribe button with your big toe and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content all right let's get started first up is the spooky crook boss when i opened the crates for these skins it was hard for me to tell if these spooky skins were going to be cool looking as you're going to see in this video they all look pretty much the same let me know down in the comments what you think about them as always level zero sucks but at level one he gets gloves <laughs> and he also gets a hat with a cool green glowing band on it level two simply adds sun glasses and level three changes the gun usually he gets a drum magazine at this point but i can't tell if that's what he has here everything stays the same at level four except he gets glowing green chains added to him now this is the typical spooky look that i really remember standing out from the spooky slasher and we have one small problem here with level five i think it might be glitched because everything is the same as level four except he doesn't have glasses anymore usually when you upgrade a skin it doesn't take something like that away it adds something new to it so i think there's a problem here but yes this is level five all right and next up we got the awesome ghost electro shocker if you didn't watch my other skin showcase for the halloween 2020 event then you might not know that it's kind of hard to tell what's happening with the ghost skins so i'll do my best to point out the differences of course here at level zero not much is going on i think it's hilarious that he's wearing a visor okay here's level one as far as i can tell he gets gloves and goggles level two adds a backpack and a headset with a microphone. The backpack's kind of hard to see here. I'm going to have a picture of it on one of the other skins coming up. Obviously here at level three, he gets a vest and knee pads. This is when this skin actually starts to get cool because his outfit starts to get defined. Here I have the video footage of level four because an effect gets added to the gun, which I think really pulls this whole outfit together. That looks really cool because this is a ghost skin. It also looks like his vest might get more stuff added to it, although I can't really tell. And here at level five, you can still see that awesome effect on his gun. He gets a riot helmet and i swear something else gets added to his vest although i can't really define what it is and here's a shot of his backpack which is basically the same the whole time next up we have the ghost militant i really like this skin because of how the gun looks at level zero he's simple john i mean militant Ooh. just wearing a beret level one adds gloves and a laser sight to the gun which really makes the gun stand out there's also a scope on it level two brings in the backpack and a headset with a microphone on it now he's starting to look like he's ready for some guerrilla warfare. <laughs> That's just a little John humor there for you OG fans. Level 3 changes the gun a little bit because the laser sight is now green instead of red. And level 4 brings in the full-on vest and knee pads. And level 5 is awesome because that's actually the full-on M60 machine gun. But it has that translucent look to it, which is great. I mean, the massive magazine on this thing is so cool looking. And here's a shot of his backpack. And now we're to one of the fan favorites, the Ghost Minigunner. Level 0 is just blah. Level 1 brings in the gloves, but it's really hard to see them. Level 2 gives him night vision goggles, which is easier to see. And I think what's added here at level 3 is a backpack and some shoulder pads. The body armor that the ghost minigunner gets is really cool looking at max level. It also looks like an ammo bandolier is added around his chest. And of course here at level 4, he becomes a dual wielding minigunner. This is a really beastly looking skin at this point. But of course nothing is better than the level 5 minigunner. You can see how awesome his full body armor looks now. The guns get souped up, he gets a full on helmet, and even even though it's a ghost skin, you can still tell that his arms have that metal look. And he adds another ammo bandolier around his chest, so he's got two of them. And here's that skin from behind. Yes, now we're getting to my favorite skin from this year's event, the Ghost DJ. Here at level zero, he's just rocking out without a care in the world. I love this animation, so cool looking. Level one adds the gloves, which are really easy to see considering how hard it was to see him on some of the other ghost skins. Level two adds the headset, the hat, and the sunglasses. He gets so much cooler at 
every level. Level three is the same outfit, but now he has two big old speakers blasting his music. And level four is when he gets a literal axe. That's gonna be perfect for attacking zombies. This looks like something out of Mad Max. And his outfit does change a little bit because he gets a vest. And here's a shot of level four from behind. But of course, nothing is better than the level five ghost DJ. The speakers get upgraded. His platform gets upgraded. He gets an amp. Flames shoot out from behind him. This is such an awesome effect. It really ties the whole skin together and emphasizes how crazy it is. This is a skin that you guys have to make sure you get from this event because everybody in the future is going to be jealous of you for having it. And of course, here's a shot of the flames from behind. I don't know how anything could possibly be as good as that skin, but I am going to follow it up with the Demon Crook boss. This is one of the skins that they brought back from last year's event. I'm glad I have it, even though he gets something really weird looking on his face. You're going to see that in a second. Level 0 looks really cool here with the horns. <laughs> and level 1 gets that freaking thing on his face. This would be an amazing skin if they just took this off. Okay, so it adds a mustache, I guess, and a top hat, which I'm a big fan of. Top hat gang. Level 2 is basically the same, except he does get gloves and sunglasses. Now, level 3 is when the gun changes, and level 4 adds the evil devil wings and tail. Just a simple change, but very effective. And level 5 makes him the boss of all bosses with the dual wielding drum guns. The top hat is out, and the luscious head of hair is in. And you might not have noticed here because it's a subtle change, but the sunglasses are different. Next up, we get the spooky shotgunner. Shotgunner level 0, boring. Shotgunner level 1, gloves. Shotgunner level 2, sunglasses. Oh, and he gets an earpiece, which I think is funny because, like, what is this guy? Secret Service? Level 3 does add the spooky chains, which makes him a little cooler looking. Level 4 gets the classic spooky hat, handkerchief with the scary mouth, and some kind of metal around his arms. Here's that skin from behind. And I know I've been making fun of him, but level 5 is actually great looking. He gets the spaz super shotgun. Now that thing is scary. And it looks like his sunglasses do change a little bit. So at max level, this skin is not that bad looking. Up next, we get the spooky archer. One thing I like about this skin is that he starts with chains on him already, but they're not glowing yet. He's got a pretty basic quiver of arrows on his back, and that's going to get upgraded as the levels change. So I'll show you that a little bit later. Ooh, this is different. Level 1 has one glove. You got to protect that shooting hand. <laughs> level 2 gives him the sunglasses and the headset. What's interesting about these spooky skins is all the towers have basically the same thing, but they get them at different levels. Level 3 brings in the spooky face mask and the spooky hat, and here's what that quiver looks like. And at level 4, the bow gets upgraded to a more modern looking bow. I really like how it has the glowing green spots on it to match the spooky outfit. So that's a change here, along with the quiver of arrows, which got upgraded to be much larger. And here at level 5, he gets the classic spooky trench coat. This is not that special of a skin, in my opinion. I'm probably going to stick with the Huntsman. Moving on to the last two skins here, I have to thank Phoenix D1 for donating the Pumpkin Militant and Demon Gladiator. I'm going to cover the Militant first. I kind of remember what this skin looked like in the Halloween 2019 event, but it was John back then. So it had the John features, which have kind of been phased out this year. Here's level zero, whatever. At level one, he gets gloves and a laser sight on the gun. Now these are the same things that we got from the Ghost Militant. Level two brings in the headset and the backpack. Here's what that looks like from behind, and that backpack looks the same at all levels. It looks like level 3 just changes the laser sight to green. Level 4 adds that classic John, I mean militant, Ooh. vest, along with knee pads. And level 5 isn't that bad looking. I mean, I do prefer the John version of this skin, just because his outfit at pumpkin level 5 was so ridiculous. But here he's got like a full uniform on, and his pumpkin head has changed to black with a red glow. And he also has that massive M60 to just shred the zombies. Alright, and now for the last skin, and probably the one you guys are least likely to see, the Demon Glad here it is at level zero. I don't know what is up with his skin tone. It looks like the devs modeled it after the surface of the moon. I mean, if he didn't have this red outfit on, I wouldn't even be able to see him. Anyway, he's got a cool animation on his sword, so I made this a video. And here's a little bit of a better angle on that sword, so you can see the detail on that and the effect. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, hold your horses there, buddy. That's a lot of changes for level one. Now he's got gloves, body armor, and wings. Level two slightly changes the body armor and gives him a gladiator helmet. What I like about the helmet is that it has horns. This dude is trying really hard to be evil. Level 3 is the same except now he has that metal stuff on his arms. Gotta protect those weak spots, bro. And now he has knee pads. Level 4 changes the sword into a scythe, but nothing else really changes on the skin itself. And at max level, level 5, he gets the devil red dominus. Evil glowing red eyes. Another change to his body armor. And another change to his scythe. Now this is a really scary looking weapon. And here's a shot of that skin 
in from behind. You can see at max level, he also gets a red cape. I actually like the pumpkin gladiator better, but let me know what you guys think about that. Demon gladiator or pumpkin gladiator? Which do you prefer? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I already told you to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, so I'm not going to tell you to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications again. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace. Peace.